but I want to do some stuff on Windfall, so bear with me here and we will get through this, I promise. Hopefully you guys don't hate me too much for delaying the dungeon. I don't know, I think it's just better to do this now, because if you don't do it now, then you're gonna... Then these two dungeons might be too close together, and then, like, I just end up doing a bunch of side quests all in one fell swoop. So this might equal things out a bit more. Though it's hard to equal out the side quest in Wind Waker. Not as hard as to equal out the side quest in Majora's Mask, but... Whatever. So anyways, uh, and you can't actually sail, like, a direct line, like, here. You can't, like, you couldn't, like, sail on a di diagonal kind of path up to Windfall here. Because the bow won't let you out of, like, this L shape here. Uh, because you're not allowed to, like, freely explore yet. So the only way to get to Windfall right now is, um... Oh, crap, I just passed 13 minutes. Oh, well. Uh, I guess this will just go at the very beginning of the next video. So welcome to part 18. So basically, you have to sail on up to Dragon Roost, and then back over to Windfall. So that's what I'm going to do now. But we've already seen this transit, so I don't see a point in putting it back in now. So uh, I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> oh my god, we've got a treasure chart here. Cool. <laughs> actually, no, we've got a treasure. We've got a beam spire. But you know what? This one's actually 200 rupees. I remember that explicitly, but... Uh, oh, oh, but you know what? Okay, I probably cut in, like, just a few seconds ago or something. Just to show off that treasure. Yeah, there's a treasure here. Now the thing, but I should probably open that treasure chart I just got. Uh, is that Western Fairy Island or Eastern or something? I don't know. We'll figure it out. But there's some stuff that I actually have to do on Dragon Roost now that I think about it. Because I was so stupid here before. Actually, no, I wasn't stu I just couldn't do that at that point, couldn't I? Yeah, so basically, I'm gonna... I don't know. I'm gonna go back to the dungeon. I'm gonna go back to Dragon Roost Cavern. And, uh, there's something I kinda wanna show off there now that I have something in my repertoire of skills. So, I'll meet you there. Okay, so now that we're in Dragon Roost Cavern, um... If I can remember how exactly how to get to this room, this might take a while to get to this room, but I do want to show from the start of the dungeon for those who, like, don't have as good of a memory of this game as I do. Which I'm sure is many of you, because I do have a somewhat photographic memory. Which is why I do tend to remember lots of obscure things in video games. Of course, I can't remember anything on, like, a school test for a dam, so... Okay. So you want to take that warp pot, and then you want to take this one again so we can get to the last pot. Because I think, I'm pretty sure that what I want to do is on the path to the boss key. So that's going to be in this direction, ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? Yup. Oh man, it's nighttime out there. That's creepy. Has anyone ever made a creepy pasta? Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> what the hell's up here? That was scary. Oh my god. Is that an island? That's not an island. What the fu- Those are clouds, aren't they? I've never seen this, like, visual. That's so weird. Hey, there's Valu. <laughs> it's like purple clouds, magenta clouds. That is... That scared me, honestly. I thought there was, like, a big island out there. I thought there was the Nowhere Islands or something. Holy crap, that was frightening. It's all twilighty out here. <laughs> I seriously hope that's the thumbnail for the video. Of course it never is. <laughs> what you want the thumbnail of the video to be, it never is the thumbnail of the video. Man, this recording's worth keeping now just for that. Just for that twilightiness. This is so cool. Oh my god. I don't know. I'm just a fan of dark colors, I guess. I don't know. It's not really that amazing. <laughs> it's just... It kind of... It stunned me. Why is my voice all raspy? I need to get a Coke or something. All right. Oh, this guy's falling off again. <laughs> Sweet. Alright, um... Actually, now that I think about it, we probably could have gotten here in a much easier fashion now that we actually have the Deku Leaf. Probably could use, utilize that a bit in this dungeon to get where I want to be, but we're here now, so who cares? Yeah, see, we could have just jumped down from that blue warp pot to right here. So that's not... I could spare myself some time, but oh well. We got to see that whole Twilight thing, so I guess that was worth the trip. Alright, don't fret. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. I have a feeling I'm forgetting another thing here, too, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. I'm pretty sure I've pretty much cleared out this dungeon of what I need to get. I don't know. Oh, right, yeah, so I think it's in this room. Yes, it is. Okay. So, what you want to do here is actually you pull out your Tingle Tuner. Oh, my God. Because now, thanks to uh, General Wodai, thanks, man, he, or Wyatt, he sent me 
a Game Boy Advance connector cable for my GameCube. So now I can actually do this. Um, it's going to be kind of awkward to record this, I think, but... I figured I would probably just... I could have done this in, like, a bonus video or something. Would you want to call Tingle? Yes, please. Yeah, I could have done this in a bonus video or something, but... I figured I'd incorporate it into the LP just because I've rarely ever seen anyone do this. Besides in, like, a bonus video or something. Yeah, so basically what happens here is, like, uh... You call Tingle with this... And on your Game Boy Advance, uh, I wish I could record this for you. There we go. Tingle appeared on my Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'll, I can read the text. Tingle saying stuff. Hello, come in. Are you there? Our Mr. Fairy is in Dragon Roost Cavern, is he not? Yes, I am. All right. So uh, let's adjust. The, uh, it's gonna be so hard to record this, but uh, so what you want to do? Um, there's actually things called Tingle statues, and there's one in every dungeon in the game, and you can actually move this little Tingle avatar. You can see him moving on the screen there, and I think I actually. Uh, uh, if you press R on the Game Boy Advance, he'll, re he'll return right to Link. So keep that in mind. And if you press B, you can use... Because, like, Tangle has a certain amount of items that he can use. I'll go... I'll probably go into more in-depth explanation of this Tingle Tuner mechanic if you guys want me to. I don't know why you would. It's, it's Tingle. Alright, you want to put Tingle right here. And then you want Link to go back across. Because I think this is the best way to do it. Otherwise, you're probably going to take damage. Because what I have equipped right now is the Tingle item on the Tingle Tuner. is the Tingle Bomb. Tingle, Tingle, Tingle. And if I check this spot with Tingle, it says, Mr. Fairy, try using a Tingle Bomb here. And if you do... What? <laughs> you get a magical chest to appear. A big spiky one, too. So there must be something very important, which I totally didn't just spoil as a Tingle statue. Yeah, so this is just... This is the main use of the Tingle Tuner, actually. Uh, you can use it to, like, um bomb certain other things and stuff. There's a whole ton of uses for the Tingle Tuner. I'm probably just going to be using it for the Tingle statues and maybe some other stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, so here's the Dragon Tingle statue. It bubbles over with warmth. It will be waiting for you on Tingle Island, which we have yet to go to. Oh, what? What's happening on my Game Boy Advance? Oh, Argon, you found it! Why, this is the Dragon Tingle statue. My younger brother Knuckle made it for me. I'm in what's called a courage stance. By the way, there are four left. Please keep on... Please look out for them on other islands. Will do, buddy. And now I'll turn off that. Oh man, that's not that's gonna be so stupid sounding. That's, that's gonna just be the worst thing. Cause you guys aren't gonna see any text. You're just gonna be staring at a completely uh, static screen while I read that text, and you're gonna have no idea what's going on. You might have been able to hear some of the sound effects from the Game Boy. I don't know, but there you go. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's all I have to do in the Dragoner's Cavern. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get out of here. I think I'll meet you, uh, actually I'll probably meet you back at Windfall, because that's where I was originally supposed to go. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you guys at Windfall, jeez. Oh, you know what, guys? Um, sorry for interrupting again here, but on my way to, uh, Windfall Island, I realized that I can get the treasure chart, not the, the sea chart marking from the fish for Paw Print Isle here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, I guess. I mean, while we're here, right? When in Rome... When in roaming. Alright, uh, I think I see that. Yeah, he's jumping out of the water over there. Get over here now! Okay. <laughs> Sorry for sounding so angry there. He doesn't sound that angry when he does it. Okay. Uh, and let's see. Did we get that right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just does a circle for the hell of it. Get your face out of my place! Oh, no, don't actually. Uh, start by opening up your sea chart. Booyah. I might do this for Windfall, too, even though we already have the chart for Windfall. Just to, like, hear what he says about Windfall. That'd be kind of cool. Because there's a lot to say about Windfall. It really is. Do you know what a choo-choo is, small fry? No, I'm not talking about the sound you make when you kiss someone. Heart, heart. <laughs> you know, I'm talking about choo-choos. They're those slimy monsters like puddles of goo that turn into ble blobs of jelly. And stand up and start jumping at you like crazy when you come near them. Well, in any case, there's lots of them on that island over there. So if you see any, I'll avoid them. They get, they can get nasty. Now that I think about it, every once in a while, I see that potion brew guy who lives on Windfall Island come here. Oh yeah, Doc Van Dam. I don't know if I ever showed him off. Or his shop or anything. <laughs> no one ever... Everyone always forgets about Doc Van Dam on Windfall Island. Oh well. Even saying that now, I'm sure a lot of people are saying, like, who the hell is Doc Van Dam? He's basically the owner of the potion shop. Oh, yeah. 
Is it still going to be uh, nighttime when I get to Windfall? Because I don't want it to be nighttime. What's the moon looking? Can I see the moon anywhere? I hope it's not a full moon, actually. Uh, yeah, might as well just leave this in. This little transit here, because it's like less than a minute long, so. Ooh, I see a light on in that house over there. I see it. I see it. I do. I do. Mm, and that's probably going to be one of our destinations while we're here at Windfall, actually. Mainly the thing I want to do is the uh, pictograph side quest. But uh, since it's nighttime, we can't actually, I don't think we can actually start that until it's daytime. So let's see what we can do at nighttime for now. Actually, there is something we can do here that uh, we, could, we could be able to learn a new song here. Can you do that at nighttime? Is he here at nighttime? I think he should be. Yeah, he is. Look at him. Remember this guy taught the da guy who was trying to remember his dance? Let's see how he's doing. That magical dance that changes day into night and night into day. If I could only recall the rhythm. Oh, the rhythm! Then I could dance it perfectly. Well, we've got a rhythmic instrument here. How's this, buddy? Uh, and you actually can't control this here. It basically just does like three empty notes or six empty notes, I guess. Uh, uh, cha. Uh, uh, cha. That's it. That's it. That's the rhythm I've been trying to recall. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Pow! Oh, yeah. 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 Rock the night away. Pow. I love this guy's face paint. It's so funny. Oh, right, yeah, so basically, if you watch his dance step, he goes uh, left, right, actually, right, left, down. Right, left, down. And that's your new song, my friend. You learned the song of passing. That's it. That's it. And it's perfect. I'm perfect. Now let the sun shine, shine, shine on. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing happened. Nothing at all. Why? <laughs> Dude, don't freak out. I guess your body's just not all that magical. No, you couldn't. You certainly couldn't please anyone in bed. But maybe my Wind Waker could. I don't know about that, though. So we did see a light on in this house, so... Yeah, that song of passing, it will change day to night, night to day, like he said, so... That's going to be very useful, especially for you Nintendo Gallery enthusiasts. I'm still not sure what, I'm gonna, what exactly I'm going to do with the Nintendo Gallery in this LP, but I'll figure it out. Well, now, good evening. Yes, yes, I rent out the first floor of this mansion. What, what kind of voice am I giving this guy? For nightly auction. Uh, oh, is it ever? Okay. Well, it sounds a bit enthralling. <clears throat> I don't know if I should be doing this right now, because I only have like 190 rupees here. I'll give it a shot, though. 